Do you find it hard for celebrities to talk to their sex to talk to media about their sexuality? What on earth are you on about? <laughs> I was referring to an interview given to Attitude magazine a few years ago. But what is your question? I was wondering if you find it difficult for celebrities to talk about their sexuality. I don't find it difficult for celebrities to talk about their sexuality. Um, are you asking me about my sexuality? Um, sure. <laughs> Why? Why? Um, Thank you. you. Okay. So I just wanted to ask you, as you were reading the script, did you ever think, why are all these women in here? I thought this was supposed to be a man's movie. No. <laughs> not for one minute. You, um... The reason I'm asking about the past is that you... You've talked in other interviews again about um, your relationship with your father and the role of all of that in... Uh, you know, the dark periods you entered and, and taking drugs and drinking and all of that. And I just wondered whether, you know, you, you, you think you're free of all of that or whether that's still something I'm sorry, you... I, I really don't. Uh, what are we doing? I, I, well, I'm just asking questions, that's all. Right. I mean, okay, that's okay. Bye. Thank you, guys. Are you... I'm sorry. I... <laughs> but why are you so sure that there's no link between enjoying movie violence and enjoying real violence? I don't, I, well, I'm going to tell you why I'm so sure. Don't, don't ask me a question like that. I'm not going to, I'm not biting. I refuse your question. Why? Because I refuse your question. I'm not your slave and you're not my master. You I can't just, make me dance to your tune. I, I I'm, not, ever, I'm not a monkey. I I'm can't not, make you answer anything. I'm just, it, I'm well, asking and, you interesting and, questions. And, and I'm saying, and I'm saying I refuse. Okay, well, no, I was just asking you why. That's fine. Um, but you see, Jamie Foxx has said, we can't turn our back and say that violence in films well, then or anything you talk to we Jamie do Fox doesn't you, have a Then you should talk to Jamie Foxx about that. And I think he's actually here, so you can. I'd, I'd love to, but I mean, I, you know, it's interesting that you have a different view and I'm just trying to explore that. Yeah, and I don't want to. Because well, I mean, I'm here to sell my movie. This is a commercial for the movie, make no mistake. Well, you and I views. Yeah, so, yeah. This so is, you don't want to talk about anything serious? I don't want to talk about what you want to talk about. I don't want to talk about the implications of violence. I, I, I haven't wanted, I've been, because you know, the reason I don't want to talk about it because I've said everything I have to say about it. If anyone cares what I have to say about it, they can Google me and they can look for 20 years what I have to say about it. I haven't changed my, eye, my, cho my, my opinion one iota. No, but you, you, haven't, you haven't fleshed it out. That, that, that's I the have, only it, it's not my job to flesh it out. No, it's my, it's my so, job to try and ask you to. And that's I'm all, shutting you know? your butt down. And that's, that's entirely <laughs> your that's entirely This your, is a your, commercial your right. from my movie. No, I know, but it's my job to try and explore some serious themes as well, I'm sure. Yeah, well, I, 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 you know. I, I invite you to explore some serious themes, but not things that I have already been on the record for talking but about. Vi well, violence is such a big part of your, all of your movies, and, it's, you know, and it's, it's an enjoyable part of your movies for so many people. And that, that's mm -hmm. why I'm talking about this, because you know, it's a very sensitive time at the moment. I mean, the vice president is talking to people in the movie industry today mm -hmm. about violence in response And you know to the, where I stand on to, it. Which, which is that there's no relationship. And yes. But you haven't said why you think there's no relationship. It's none of your reason. damn business what I think about that. Well, it's my job to ask you why you think and that. And I'm you're, saying you're very no. And I'm shutting you down. But you have a responsibility as a filmmaker, surely, to explain a little bit about No, I don't doing. have any responsibility to you to explain anything I don't no, want no, to. No, not to me, but to your, to your viewers, to your fans, you know, to people who they know care exactly, about what they it is know, that you're doing. They know where I'm coming from. And I have explained it. And I have explained even what you're talking about. I'm just not giving it to you. Why? Because I don't want to, because I've done it already. I have explained this many times in the last 20 years. I just refuse to repeat myself over and over again because you want me to for you and your show you're, you're and a, your ratings. Okay, well, no, it's, it's not about our ratings. It's, it's, no, no, it is. It is about you want me to say it for you, for your show, this show right here, yeah, right now. I, I, well, look, this is a news program. It's not a film program, so we explore serious themes. That's the difference. Exactly. You know? yeah. um, but you want me to do what I've already done before, and I am refusing. So Freeman plays a magic debunker. Freeman? Who are you? Yeah. <laughs> Freeman? Yeah. What, are you on a baseball team with him? Yeah, he's yeah. a buddy of mine. Okay. Morgie. Morgie yeah. plays a magic debunker. Right. You know, he uh, reveals these magician secrets. Yeah. So I want to play a little game okay. where you debunk some secrets. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that one, I think what you're doing is you're putting your thumb 
under your pointer finger, you're bending this Can one. Can you do it? Yeah, I think it's something like this. Yeah. I'll tell you the problem with the trick is that the thumbs don't look like an end of a finger. You just yeah. have a fat thumb though. No, my thumb's fine, thank you, but what did you write on your hand? Nothing. Well, I saw there was a lot of things. What was a it? A lot of things. Are they questions? No. Are you secretly hiding questions <laughs> for the interview? You're wondering what it's like to work with Morgan Freeman and you can't I remember wrote, that? Uh, you know, don't call Morgan Freeman yeah. Freeman like you're on a Little League softball yeah. team with him. I heard that you have a, like a snap card trick that you learned or something. Sure, yeah. Um, you brought a card? I have a lot of cards. Um, do you know the um, comedian Carrot Top? Yes, horrible. Well, um, you were like the uh, Carrot Top of interviewers. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. No, and it's a good thing. It's I'm gonna a good go thing. cry because... now. No, don't cry now. Cry after the interview's over. Because um, okay. otherwise I'll look like it was res I'm responsible for it. Okay, so... Um, well, you are. Well, I don't want to know that, though. Okay, okay well, so you know now. I said your name at the camera. What else do you want from me? A magic trick. Okay. All right, so we so... can wrap this up. Hey, <laughs> you're on my time. Okay. Okay, choose a card from here. Okay. Look at it, obviously. You can show the camera, you know. Yeah, Romina. Now put it back anywhere in the deck. Okay. Now, do you remember your card? Are you thinking of it? Sure. It's not important. Okay, could you point out where you think the card is? It's, you're right, it is in the deck. Okay, so, so wait, oh, you think it's on top? Yeah. You think it's the top card? Yes. So I'm going to take the top card off, and was this should be your card then? Yes. Really? No. It's not, is it your card? I mean, it doesn't matter. No, I mean, it's not. It's not my card. I don't need to be amazed. I already know how it's done. It's not. Okay. Was that your card? Ooh. See? Are you happy you yeah. lied to yes. the point of almost not appreciating right. that? Can I just have you say my name into the camera? Romina? Just the word Romina? Well, my name, not a word. And what's going to happen to it? We'll skip it. I'll do the thing. We'll skip it. But I just wanted to know, like, like, what to give it. Like, if we just broke up. I probably wouldn't say anything then. You're trying to find me in a crowded place. Oh, okay. Romina. That's it? I would never yeah. hear you. The thing is, I actually didn't want to find you. I was actually hoping to stay alone. <laughs> Such a jerk. Do you think, do you think that the uh, public will perceive you any differently after all that's been in the news about you? What are you referring to specifically? Refer, <laughs> referring to the, uh, you know, the uh, drinking problems, referring to what's been called the anti-Semitic rant, referring yeah, that's, all, that's, all, all those I, things. I, you, know, you know what I'm yeah, talking about. Okay. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, that's almost four years ago, dude. I mean, I've moved on. I guess you haven't. Well, I'm, I'm just I'm just wondering if you think that the the public has has moved on and will perceive you in the same light. Well, I certainly hope so. You know, it is a while back, and uh, you know, I've done all the necessary mea culpas. So um, let's move on, dude. Right. Come on. Uh, Edge of Darkness opens uh, today. It's good to see you back in the saddle and uh, doing what you do best. Thanks a lot for joining us, Mel. Take care. Bye-bye. Asshole.